star, but one of the sport's most respected figures is in his corner. World Cup winning Wallabies captain Nick Farr Jones is a proud Christian. And he says a recent meeting with Folau convinced him that he's authentic and doesn't mean any harm. Really didn't know the man until 11 days ago when he asked if he could come and meet me at home and we had 90 minutes and I asked him a lot of hard questions. I wanted to know about his background. I wanted to know about his, his biblical knowledge. I wanted to know about his faith. And most importantly, I wanted to know about, was he warned about the actual nature of the, of the posts? And did he think that they would be offensive to people. And to cut to the chase, from Israel's perspective, he absolutely believes he's done nothing wrong. He believes that he's put those posts out in love to people, uh, hoping that they'll listen as a warning to the sinner of the consequences of sin. Uh, as I would say in a nutshell, Israel loves the person, he hates the sin. Afar Jones says the termination of Flau's contract appears inevitable and believes that punishment would be just way too harsh. I went to the crux of this with Israel when we spoke. Um, I spoke about gay people. I said, how do you feel about it? He said, Nick, I've got gay friends. I've got gay people in my family. I've got no idea who they are. Uh, I didn't explore that. But he said, I love the people. He's been a great supporter of the Bingham Cup, as I have. The Bingham Cup is a Rugby World Cup for gay people. Played every two years. I've been an ambassador of the Bingham Cup. Israel's been a supporter. You know, he, he's got no issue with gay people he named a whole bunch of people he's just talking about sin and quoting from the bible and so that's why how this has blown up to become a high level offense or a breach of their code of conduct that will probably no doubt in my opinion lead to termination